The internet can be unpredictable. One minute you're checking emails, the next you've accidentally clicked on a sketchy link promising free concert tickets. Well, in a world where online threats are constantly evolving, having reliable antivirus software isn't just nice to have, it's essential. Norton 360 has been a heavyweight in the cybersecurity world for years, but is it still the best? Well, I spent some time using it in real life situations to see if it's still worth the investment or if it's just another outdated program coasting on its reputation. Before we dive in though, if at any point throughout this video or afterwards you want to try Norton for yourselves, then consider going to the link in the description to get the best available discount on all Norton plans. So, Take a look at that if you're interested. Now, when I first installed Norton 360, I expected the usual antivirus protection, detecting and blocking malware, scanning files, and keeping things secure. But Norton 360 tries to be more than that. It offers real-time threat protection, meaning it actively blocks viruses, spyware, and other online threats while you browse. It also includes a secure VPN, which encrypts your internet connection so hackers can't spy on your activities when using public Wi-Fi, a lifesaver if you work from cafes like I do. There's also a password manager, which stores all your passwords securely, removing the need for random sticky notes or reused logins. Another feature that stood out was dark web monitoring, which sounds like something out of a spy movie, but it is actually pretty useful. If you're personal information like an email address or credit card number shows up in shady online marketplaces, Norton sends you an alert so you can take action. These features sounded promising, but I was more interested in how they worked in everyday scenarios where cybersecurity actually matters. While I didn't want to intentionally infect my computer with malware for the sake of this review, I did put it through a couple of situations where antivirus software is supposed to shine. The first test came when I intentionally visited a soccer streaming site that I already knew was sketchy from previous experience. As soon as I clicked on a link, Norton's safe web feature kicked in and blocked the site, displaying a clear warning that it was a no-go zone. The second instance was when I tried to download a YouTube video of ours, which I knew was safe in of itself, but once I went to download it, Norton came to save the day yet again. So what I assume happened was that the website I used tried to add a little two-for-one virus along with the video that I tried to download, and Norton was like, no way, Jose. And lastly, I tried to download download a test malware file to really see how Norton would react, but it wouldn't even allow me to click on the download button. Granted, it didn't warn me like it did the previous few times, but when I looked at my security history, it said that it aborted the download. So it's safe to say that Norton is eagerly waiting in the background to help you out, which should give you a peace of mind. Moreover, Norton 360 strikes a solid balance between security scans, privacy features, and performance optimization, offering a range of tools designed for both everyday and more advanced protection needs. Its security scans are versatile, covering three key types, quick scan, full system scan, and custom scan. The quick scan focuses on critical areas like system files and running processes, finishing it in just a few minutes. Great for quick checkups. The full system scan dives deeper, inspecting every file and program on your device, which can take a while but provides thorough protection. And if you have specific concerns, the custom scan lets you choose specific folders or files, offering flexibility when you need targeted protection. Beyond traditional antivirus features, Norton 360 excels in privacy tools. One standout is that VPN that I mentioned earlier. I tested it out while working from a coffee shop and I took the risk of logging into my bank account. The VPN connection was smooth and it didn't slow down my internet speed unlike other VPNs I've used in the past. It's a feature that runs quietly but makes a big difference when it comes to online privacy. Moreover, Norton's password manager simplifies managing login credentials by securely storing and generating strong passwords. Setting it up was straightforward and it saved me the hassle of keeping track of multiple passwords or resetting forgotten ones. Having everything in one place made managing my accounts so much easier. Then when it comes to performance, Norton 360 includes a tool that clears temporary files and helps free up storage space. While running system scans, my computer kept running smoothly, though I can see how older or less powerful devices might slow down during a full system scan. I also appreciated the silent mode feature, which pauses notifications and scans while you're gaming or working so you don't get interrupted. Now, Norton 360's interface is easy to navigate with clear menus and straightforward controls. Even if you're not tech savvy, you'll probably
probably find it easy to use. Adjusting settings, running scans, and checking for updates all felt intuitive, which is something I found lacking in other antivirus programs I've used. As for customer support, I reached out with a question about enabling parental controls just to see how responsive they were. After using the live chat feature, I was connected to a representative within minutes. They patiently walked me through the process and answered all my questions clearly. Now, as for the pricing and plans, Norton 360 has a range of them designed to fit different security needs and budgets. If you're just looking for basic protection for one device, Norton Antivirus Plus gets the job done. It includes virus protection, a firewall, a password manager, and two gigabytes of cloud backup. It starts at $30 for the first year, though the renewal jumps to $59.99. It's a decent choice if you're after straightforward security without the extra bells and whistles. For something more robust, Norton 360 Standard covers up to three devices and adds features like a secure VPN, dark web monitoring, and the first year price is $39.99, but it renews at $94.99. It's just right if you're someone who works online frequently or uses public Wi-Fi. The extra privacy features might be worth it. If you have a family or multiple devices to secure, well, Norton 360 Deluxe is a better fit. It covers up to five devices and includes parental controls, enhanced privacy monitoring, and 50 gigabytes of cloud backup. The first year cost is $49.99, renewing at $119.99 annually. It's a solid pick if you're looking to keep both personal and family devices protected. For serious identity theft protection, there's Norton 360 with LifeLock Select. It covers up to 10 devices and goes beyond antivirus protection with identity monitoring, credit score tracking, and up to $25,000 in stolen funds reimbursement. It starts at $99.99 for the first year and renews at $189.99. So Norton 360 delivers solid protection with features like real-time threat detection, a secure VPN, and dark web monitoring, making it a well-rounded option. Its comprehensive set of tools covers everything from malware defense to online privacy, making sure that your devices stay safe in multiple ways. During full system scans, my newer laptop performed smoothly without any noticeable slowdowns. However, older or less powerful devices might experience some lag during intensive scans. Fortunately, features like silent mode and custom scan scheduling help manage performance while keeping your system secure. So is Norton 360 still the best antivirus? Well, based on my experience, it's definitely one of the top contenders. It goes beyond standard virus protection, offering real-time threat detection, web protection, and useful extras like a secure VPN and password manager. It felt reliable without being intrusive and proved its worth in everyday online situations. And that just about wraps up today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoy the video, then consider liking and subscribing. And for those of you interested in trying out Norton and haven't already bought it, then consider checking out the link in the description for a discount on Norton's plans. Nevertheless, thank you all so much for watching and until next time, make sure to take care.